Alphabet, induk perusahaan raksasa pencarian Google, mengumumkan PHK sekitar 12.000 orang atau sekitar 6% total karyawannya. As they said in their uh, blog post, uh, they overhired during the uh, pandemic and that's the same reason many other tech companies have given for layoffs. Um, so uh, that's one reason. Um, and you know, we're also heading into we're in a, in a very uncertain macro tech macro environment. Um, you know, particularly around digital advertising which is the lifeblood of Alphabet and Google. Sebelumnya Microsoft mengumumkan PHK 10.000 karyawannya atau sekitar 5% total pegawai raksasa komputer dan perangkat lunak tersebut. I think that many companies are right sizing their their staff for what's likely to be uh, a, a more incrementally challenging period in demand uh, from the macro economy versus the last two years. And I think a lot of companies are using this as an opportunity to get more efficient and to align their cost structure with, with their revenue base. Sebelumnya, banyak perusahaan teknologi lainnya telah mengumumkan PHK massal. Mulai raksasa retail daring Amazon, Meta, induk perusahaan media sosial Facebook, hingga perusahaan komputasi awan Salesforce. PHK masal juga terjadi di sebagian perbankan dan layanan keuangan. Morgan Stanley dan Goldman Sachs misalnya memphk ribuan karyawannya. Banyaknya PHK ini di tengah pengetatan atau peningkatan suku bunga acuan oleh Bank Sentral AS kembali memunculkan khawatiran terjadinya resesi parah. Sebagian analis menilai kondisi sebenarnya tak separah itu. The overall labor market has been remarkably resilient. The latest data we have through December suggested it is holding up despite higher interest rates. That said, there are some pockets we are, where we are starting to see a, a clear slowdown, most notably tech, but also finance and real estate. And so over the past few months, we've had you know, something close to 200,000 layoffs in the tech sector. That may feel big. A lot of these are very high profile companies, but it's important to keep in mind that tech overall, depending on how you define it, is at most 12 to 15 percent of the U.S. economy. Di luar teknologi perbankan dan properti yang tertekan suku bunga tinggi, analis mencermati ada sektor yang masih bergairah. It's easy to overlook those. Aerospace, uh, energy, uh, those are two sectors that are hiring very aggressively. So, you know, as, as much as um, the tech sector is top of mind, uh, you know, it is uh, you know, a relatively small part of the economy. Bank Sentral AS atau Federal Reserve selanjutnya bertemu pada 31 Januari hingga 1 Februari. Dan investor hampir memastikan The Fed akan kembali menaikkan suku bunga acuan 25 hingga 50 basis poin. Dari Washington DC, Nova Purwadi dan tim VOA.